Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm reporting for the Healthy Newsworks from Norristown, Pennsylvania. Our topic today is how people can protect themselves against the coronavirus. On this video call with me is Dr. Walter Zhu, a past president of the American Public Health Association and a former Philadelphia Public Health Commissioner. What does it mean to be in quarantine? Well, quar quarantine, as we technically talk about, is someone who has an infection that could be spread to other people in the community. And so we ask them to actually stay in a room or in their house and not leave that uh, location. And uh, we, we quarantine them there uh, because uh, we're, we don't want them actually spreading something in the community. Why is it necessary to be in quarantine now? Well, uh, it's necessary because this novel coronavirus that we're talking about has no way of preventing it. That is to say, there's no vaccine and there's no treatment for it. That is to say, we can't cure it. And, there, and we also know that it could potentially kill people. Not very many because still the number of people who are exposed, most of them recover and do okay. But there are a small number who actually will die from it because they react poorly to the, vac to the uh, virus. And so that's why we ask people to be quarantined now and to practice what they call social isolation. How long do you think it'll take for people to be able to resume their normal activities and be around people again? Well, it's a tough question to answer. Uh, most people uh, are following the rules and they are staying home and, and uh, you know, only going out if necessary, maybe to buy groceries or things like that. And they're avoiding socializing. And if everybody did that, uh, the time period in which we could uh, be isolated like this is, go is going to be shorter, maybe in the matter of maybe one or two months. But if people break the rules, if you will, and it's still voluntary and they uh, go out and socialize and possibly spread the virus to more people, then the time period could be much, much longer. How do doctors and nurses protect themselves while they're treating coronavirus patients? Well, doctors and nurses are really at the front line of this uh, battle. And imagine if you have coronavirus and you maybe your first thing is to go to see the doctor's office or to the hospital emergency room. And those people who meet you there could potentially be exposed. So they do something what they call personal protective equipment. That means they put on gloves. Many of them may have gowns. They wear a mask. Uh, some of them may have eye protection. And they use all this as a way of trying to protect themselves from having any of the viral droplets get on their bodies. And that's how they protect themselves. What can kids do to protect themselves and their families? Well, uh, the most important thing that kids can do is to practice social iso uh, isolation, which means that uh, you really should not go around and shaking hands, hugging each other, kissing, or anything that might be direct contact. Right now, we're hopeful that this will end sometime soon. But in the meantime, uh, most schools have been closed uh, because we want to try to minimize the opportunities for kids to possibly have direct contact with each other. Is there anything else kids can do to protect themselves from this virus? Well, actually, there is something important also that I should mention, and that's hand washing. Kids sh should actually wash their hands. The recommendation is that they wash their hands for 20 seconds. Uh, what I actually do is I wet my hands I rub soap on them and make sure that every part of my hand is covered with soap. I go underneath my fingernails and then I rinse it all off. And perhaps the more important thing is that uh, we know that the coronavirus can actually be on some surfaces. And uh, 
we want to make sure that if you touch uh, surfaces like monkey monkey bars maybe or uh, other people's bicycles that afterwards when you're done you wash your hands and make sure you um, keep them clean and that way you can minimize risk of getting coronavirus. Thank you so much Dr. Zhu for talking to me today. Well you're more than welcome Maggie thank you for asking. <laughs>